Hello guys, hope you're doing great. So as promised in the last uh, session, here I am with the latest releases of TZPP, uh, release 14 and 15. However, this releases are not completed yet and we are expecting, as I told, as I written, we are expecting release 14 in June 2017 and release 15 in September 2018. So that's how we are just expecting these releases to come out with this kind of specifications. But God really know that when these things are going to come. However, uh, I have really worked a little bit on this kind of research what the 3 gpp guys are planning to do uh, in June uh, 2017 with what kind of features and they are adding in release 15 plus hopefully LT advanced will have an end here and will be heading towards the 5G. So let's start with the uh, release 14 features. Number one is energy efficiency. They are working on uh, energy efficiency of the equipment and they are also working on location services or the LCS. Mission critical data. They are also working on VoLTE again, but it's not voice, it's video over LTE. We are expecting in release 14 to come out we are having flexible mobile services steering or fm ss sixth one is a multimedia broadcast supplement for public warning system mbsp which is earlier mbms or the multimedia broadcast multicast services uh, there is a little bit of enhancement here so it's called multimedia broadcast supplement for public warning system or the MBSP. Then the next or the seventh one is the enhancement for TV services, television services. So hopefully we uh, seeing this online TV in a different, altogether different manner. Then the eighth point is the massive internet of things. And the last but not the least, sale broadcast service or the CBS. So these are the nine points. Uh, the 3 gpp is working so far to come up in June 2017 as release 14. In release 15, which is expected to come in uh, September 2018, they are currently working on these key features now. Support for 5G vehicle to edge services, IP multimedia core network system. Earlier it was only IP multimedia, uh, you know, uh, system but it was now core network so this IMS has been developed uh, with some new features so that will come to know in September 2018 and the last one is the future railway mobile communication system sounds pretty interesting so let's see how things are coming up and uh, that's all about the current 3 GPP releases you can check my previous videos for phase 1 phase 2 uh, release 96, 97, 98, 99, then uh, release 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and now 14 and 15. So here we are uh, closing this overall discussion on 3 GPP features and releases starting from phase 1 till release 15. And uh, now I'm going to discuss something about some important features which is currently running in uh, telecom. So initially we will be focusing on carrier aggregation which is a pretty exciting feature and I uh, will be discussing in overall today. Maybe in the next session we will come up with some detailed discussion. So guys we will be discussing about uh, carrier aggregation is one of the LT advanced feature which is used to achieve uh, more and more user throughput or the maximum bit rates. How we achieve this? We add more number of carriers and we get the maximum throughput. So we'll have a little bit general discussion on carrier aggregation. It's a LTE advanced feature. It increases the bandwidth we used to combine two, three carriers, 1.4, 1.4, 5 megahertz or 5 megahertz, 10 megahertz, 15 megahertz, whatever. Carrier can be like 1.4 megahertz, 3, 5, 10, 15, up to 20 megahertz and maximum 5 cc can be added 5 carrier components can be added so you can go for 20 25 megahertz or you know any one of this any one of these combinations can be used in carrier aggregation 
and a max aggregate bit rate could be 100 megahertz that's uh, like if you have 520 megahertz carriers and you combine them through the carrier aggregation feature you'll be able to achieve 100 megahertz however you can use any of the uh, combinations like if you don't have a 20 megahertz band you have 1.4 and then you have some 5 or 10 you can combine all three and you can achieve the maximum throughput and maximum uh, user throughput for the users so that's all for today and uh, hopefully you'll be meeting in the next session with some more exciting features thank you so much for watching take good care of yourself do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do like and share the videos and yeah if you really like it you can comment take care bye bye